many wala akong may Diyos. And I saw myself as a sinner. All of a sudden, kaya alam kong may Diyos. I really wanted to serve Him with all my heart and soul and mind and strength. So alam mo na may Diyos. We really know that there is a God because He can switch your heart. You can be that different person. Are you ready? Are you ready for a spiritual revival? For healing miracles in your life? For blessings and financial breakthroughs? Are you ready for a deeper relationship with God? Welcome to our program, Living the Blessing by Terry Chang Ministries. So let us set our attention for our main speaker for tonight. At uh, siya po ang author at founder ng ministeryo ng Terry Chang Ministry. She was born again in 1998 and she started as a Bible teacher and preacher after she graduated from Bible school 20 years ago. She and her husband founded three churches in the Philippines between 2001 and 2005 and they migrated to Hong Kong 15 years ago. And God supernaturally blessed Pastora Terry with a successful property development business in Hong Kong for the last 15 years. She's also been serving God as an international minister preaching the gospel all over the world. And for the last 21 years, God has used her to help change and transform people's lives. Her very own personal testimony of the unconditional love and grace of God has been an inspiration to many. Countless of blessings, miracles, and signs and wonders have taken place in people's lives. And today, she continues to boldly demonstrate how to apply the Word of God to assure complete victory in every area of our lives. Pastor Terry founded the Terry Cheng Ministries and started her television program called Living the Blessing, which is being aired on TBN Asia. She believes that it does not matter what people have done in the past. God has place for them in the kingdom, and she will do the best she could to be there up to help fulfilling their God-given destiny. Her husband, Brother Robert, is the Senior Director of Global Supply Chain for a multinational corporation engaged in data center equipment and has been Pastora Terry's greatest supporter of all her ministry for the last 21 years. Pastora Terry and Brother Robert have two children, Ivan, 24, and Angela, 19. Please all stand as we welcome Pastora Terry Cheng. Palakpakan po natin ang ating Panginoon. Hello. Yeah. You may be seated, please. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, God for having made this first anniversary of Terry Cheng Ministries possible. Garabi po ang himala nitong TCM na to. Hindi mo masusubukan si God. Uh, we are able to minister all over the world. Napakarami pong nahihil, napakaraming nagpo-prosper. Napakaraming nare-restore na marriages or even re broken relationships. Napakaraming miracles through TCM. Grabe po at uh, itong mga guest speakers ko po ay very instrumental kung papaanong na-fulfill itong calling ni God for me to open a TV ministry. Unahin ko po si Pastora Citas Bernardo. Siya po yung Bible teacher ko. At uh, grabe po ang encouragement niya sa akin. Hindi uh, ko alam na may calling ako to preach. Siya ang unang nakaalam. Siya ang sinabihan ni Lord at pinipilit niya ako talaga, in-encourage niya ako to preach at ayaw ko. Pero relentlessly po ang kanyang pag-encourage sa akin until finally I heeded to God's voice. 
Kung wala si Pastora Sita, at lalong-lalo na po si Pastor Cesar, sa kanilang encouragement sa akin, wala ako ngayon dito. At wala akong natutulungan ng mga tao sa buong mundo. Pangalawa po, si Bishop Greg Dorante. Grabe po ang anointing ng Bishop na ito. Napapanood ko siya sa TBN Philippines at TBN Hong Kong pala kasi based ako in Hong Kong. At at 7 o'clock in the evening, i-air ang Greg Dorante Ministries. Grabe ang revelation sa aking buhay. At lalong-lalong grabe yung anointing. Ki-impart kami ng anointing mamaya. Sa TV siya, pagkatapos niyang mag-preach, and I will receive all the revelation na kailangan ko, pagkatapos ngayon itataas niya yung kamay niya to pray for his audience. At ganyan ako, ka-thirsty and hungry for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Kaya ako tatakbo doon kung saan tinaas niya yung kamay niya on TV, sa screen. At tihipuin ko yung kamay niya at sisipsipin ko yung anointing. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is being imparted through touch. So kailangan kong hipuin yung daliri niya. And it took five years lang. All of a sudden, meron akong TV ministry. Kasi ang Greg Durante has been on the air for 32 years. In other words, nakuha ko yung anointing. So mamaya mag impart kami sino yung may gusto ng prosperity, sino yung may gusto ng healing, Kung ano yung kailangan nyo, restoration of marriage, ay uh, bibigyan tayo ng supernatural power ng Holy Spirit, the impartation. Pangatlo po ay si Pastor Kenneth. Nung uh, talagang grabing-grabe na yung desire ko, nagpa-plano akong pumunta sa Greg Durante. Hindi pa po ako kilala ni Bishop Greg noon. Plano namin ng kapatid ko, magpakilala. Ang sabi ko, magbibigay ako ng malaking love offering. Para mapansin ako ni Pastor Kenneth. Bakit? Pastor Kenneth is the managing director for TBN. Kailangan para mapansin ka, maging kamukha ka ni Queen of Sheba. Magbibigay ka kay King Solomon para ipakita niya, pa-witness sa'yo ang kanyang wisdom at ang kanyang riches. Kaya lang, hindi ganon ang pinlano ni Lord sa akin. Ginawa niya na through proper channels. Pinakilala ako ni Pastor Jane. Kay Pastor Kenneth, Pastor Kenneth was so accommodating, hindi niya ako kilala, wala siyang idea kung sino ako, never been heard before, and yet, ang accommodation niya sa akin, grabe, 100%, ang tingin ko po sa kanya, super, super humble. At siyempre, pinagbigyan niya ako, dahil sa kanya, pinakilala ako sa kanyang daddy, at dito kay Pastor um, uh, Joey Ramos, at kay Brother Tony Flores. Pinakilala po ako, walang track record, walang ministry, walang company, walang kahit ano. And yet, right there and then, during that first meeting, sabi po ni Brother Tony Flores, siya po yung pinakahead ng TBN, he is the director of TVN Asia, ang sabi niya, uh, Pastor Joey, i ano mo si Terry sa TBN Philippines, at isama mo na rin siya sa TBN Asia. Grabe po ang favor ni God. Grabe, grabe. Amen. Walang track record at hindi ako kilala and yet binibigyan ako ng opportunity. I had nothing to offer to them. Alam niyo po kung ano lang, yung spirit ko na gustong mag-serve sa Panginoon. Yun lang. Wala naman po akong binabalak na ako ay kumuha ng pera sa mga tao, anything. Dahil ako ang nagbibigay. Kung sino man na nakakakilala sa akin dito, Hindi kayo mangunguna sa pag- Ako ang magbibigay sa inyo. Ako ang, ang mag-o-offer sa inyo. Yan, kilala ako. No, marami pong may kilala sa akin dito. Yan ako. Wala akong ine-expect anything in return from any person, but I expect a lot from my God. Yan. Isa pa pong pinagka-utangan ko ng loob ay itong very, very, very close friend ko. Mapagmahal, napakabait, si Pastora Jane. Nasaan si Pastora Jane? Grabe po ang pasensya niya, ang understanding, ang accommodation. Alam niyo po, all through this time, for the last five years, nandiyan siya, ginagabayan niya ko. Every single moment na kailangan ko siya, nandiyan siya. In fact, siya po ang, uh, siyempre, Lord of the Nations, ay uh, sila po ang nagkasikaso ng lahat. In other words, 
At nagpapasalamat po ako, hindi lang kay Pastor Jane, pati po sa aming senior pastor na si Pastor Alan, kasi grabe ang support niya dito sa TCM. At yung lahat ng Lord of the Nations na members, sila po yung kumanta, sila po yung nag-asikaso ng pagkain. They prepared 800 meals na para dito po sa ating uh, okasyon ngayon. Sila din po ang nag-asikaso, nag-negotiate para dito sa ating mga LED wall, yung mga sound system. Nag-areglo dito, sila po lahat yan. So uh, hindi ko po alam kung ano ang ginawa ko para ma-deserve ko ang lahat ng favor na ito from the Lord. Talaga pong ganyan ang Panginoon natin. Ito pong si Pastor, uh, uh, Pastor Joey, at si Sister Jessa naman ay hindi ko pwedeng makalimutan kasi sa dami namin pong hindi alam tapos hindi kami marunong. Grabe ang pag-aaral dapat namin sa editing, sa rendering, wala kaming kaalam-alam. Nakagabay po sa amin si Pastor Jane pero nung kami ay pinabayaan na, nandyan po si Brother Mel, si Brother James, nung pinabayaan na kami dyan, syempre yan ang mangyayari po, papabayaan ka na nila kasi you have to stand on your feet. Tapos si Pastor Joey at si Sister Jessa ang nag-assist po sa amin. Grabe ang pa, ang pag uh, ang favor nila, tama ba ni? Grabe lahat po ng problema namin, Pastor Joey, Pastor Joey, Sister Jessa, si Nanjen po sila hanggang natuto kami ng natuto. So ngayon, talagang kayang-kaya na natin, tama ni? Magpalabas ng mga kahit sarili naming pelikula. Maraming salamat po. At itong aking isang uh, guest speaker, si Sister Nora, ay nakita ko po yan noong 31st anniversary ng Greg Durante. Siya ay nag-share ng testimony. Naku, nag-grabe po ang, ang, ang spirit ko, nag-connect sa spirit niya. We hardly had time to talk about anything, pero grabe ang sinabi ni Lord sa akin na kailangan daw makipag-connect ako sa kanya. Alam niyo ko bakit? Pareho kami. Siya, in-invite niya ako to be the speaker dito sa Kristiyanong, uh, Pistang Kristiyano sa Oriental Mindoro. There were about 4,000 people. Pero alam niyo po, siya lahat ang gumastos, siya lahat ang nag-prepare. Yung mga pagkain, walang tigil for ilang days yan. Ang mga bisita, walang tigil. Siya lahat ang nag-fun. Nakikita ko po yung sarili ko. And, kaya na, alam ko, na pagpapalain ng todo-todo si Sister Nora. Amen. Tsaka po yung mga uh, bisita naming dumating ngayon, nagpapasalamat ako sa lahat sa inyo. Ito po sa aking best friend ng high school, si Bors, si Fidelina Borja. Naku, nasan ka, Del? Yung aking best friend when I was flying with Cathay Pacific, si Sylvia. Nasan si Sylvia? Amen. Yung aking best friend nung ako ay Uh, nagdi-distribute ng agricultural products all over the Philippines, si Eva. Nasaan si Eva? Amen. So, nandiyan po lahat sila. Si Mr. Choi, nandito ba? Nandito. Ay, Mr. Choi! Oh my gosh, Mr. Choi! He is the president of the Korean Association of the Philippines and that is his son. Oh, you're still here, Mr. Choi. Tingnan nyo naman po. Paano papabura na? Naku, grabe po ang support ni Mr. Choi sa amin noon when we were distributing products all over the Philippines. Isa po siya sa one of my biggest buyers. Amen. I would like to share my personal testimony kasi nagre-request po ang mga tao na marami po pong hindi nakarinig dito sa testimony because this will substantiate yung topic natin which is unlocking the blessings of God. Okay. So, Long before I got born again, I was the most devastated person that I had known in the world. I was so devastated that I attempted to commit suicide three times. So I had these insurmountable problems. Number one, my husband and I were separated for one and a half years. You didn't know that, Mr. Choi, because he is a very close friend of my husband. Robert was fooling around with other women. He was drinking two bottles of whiskey a night. He was smoking two packets of cigarettes a day, and he was gambling at the casino. So even if I was in business at that time, I had a construction company, I had about 200 people, and I was distributing agricultural products all over the Philippines, and I had about 3,000 people. I was up to my eyeballs in debt. 
ang dami ko pong utang, as in milyon-milyon. And because of these problems, I was diagnosed of having cancer of the ovary. And all the complications nitong ovarian cancer na to, excruciating pain, yung vertigo, yung blurry eyesight, halos wala akong makita. I was nearly blind. Pagkatapos po, meron akong uh, nausea, meron akong constipation, name it. Grabe ang pain. Ang cancer is so painful. So, and then, in December 1998, I got born again. I went to the Pollock City, and I took a shower, and then I went to bed at about 10 o'clock in the evening. So, at 10 o'clock, natutulog na ako, 2 o'clock in the morning, I was awakened by this most beautiful voice. And he was calling my name three times. Sabi niya, Terry, Terry, Terry. So I looked up, and it was a blinding light. Nakakasilaw. So my tendency was to look down, and I saw the hemline of his gown. It was shiny white in color. I saw his feet. They had holes in them. May suga chow, may scars, and he was wearing brown sandals. Sabi ko, could this be Jesus? I was not a Christian. I didn't know anything about God except through the movies that I had the opportunity to uh, watch kapag Holy Week. But other, other than that, wala ko, hindi ko kinala kung sino yung Diyos na yan. So, and then he started asking me three questions. First question that he asked me was, Terry, if I ask you to quit your business and serve me, would you do it? It took me a long time to answer. But then I remembered about 10 years back when I joined the airline, I was, um, my, my husband, oh, at that time it was my boyfriend, he gave me a Bible. And then I read through the few chapters in the Old Testament, and then I saw how God killed those people who disobeyed him. So I didn't manage to go to the New Testament to realize that God was not there to kill anyone, but he was there to bless everyone. So nakita ko lang pinapatay niya yung mga tao, so I got so scared. All of a sudden, I remember that, so I said to him, okay, I will quit my business and serve you, kasi natakot ako. And then he asked me the second question, Sabi niya, Terry, if I asked you to withdraw all your money from the bank and use this money to serve me, would you do it? I didn't have much. I had a few hundred thousand dollars, pero ito para sa aking anak because my, anak, my son was in my custody. It took me a long time again to answer, but then I said yes because I remembered that God was killing those people who disobeyed him. And then he asked me the third question, Terry, if I asked you, to sell all your properties and use the proceeds to serve me, would you do it? And here, I answered very swiftly, sabi ko, these are conjugal properties. You have to ask Robert's permission. If he says yes, by all means, I will sell the properties and use the proceeds to serve you. And then all of a sudden, he started moving away. And I realized he was not walking. He was floating away. And then he left the room without opening the door. He went through the door. So I got up on my feet and then rushed to the door, opened the door, and then chased him through the corridor. Ang bilis-bilis niya, nagpa-float lang siya na ganyan. Pagkatapos sabi ko, Lord, please tell me what you want me to do. I already said I want to serve you, but you tell me exactly what you want me to do. But he wouldn't budge. Diretso lang siya na ganyan, and he was about to reach the end of the corridor. So I grabbed the hemline of his gown, and before I knew it, he disappeared through thin air, and I was back in my room lying on my bed. Sabi ko, panaginip lang ba yun? But you know, the countenance in the room had changed. My own countenance has changed. Kasi, for the first time in my life, I experienced this peace and fullness of joy that I never experienced in my life. Yung dinidiscuss kanina ni Bishop, yung joy and peace, despite the pain that I was experiencing because of the cancer, despite yung mga problema ko kay Robert, yung mga utang na hindi namin mabay, I was so scared kasi yung mga utang na yun, we borrowed money from the banks, we borrowed money from friends and loved ones, and we didn't have money to pay them back. And that's why I attempted to commit suicide three times. And so anyway, so I didn't sleep anymore. I just kept on thinking about these three questions. And then all of a sudden in my heart, I really wanted to serve him with all my heart and soul and mind and strength. So, alam mo na may Diyos. We really know that there is a God because he can switch your heart. You can be that different person. 
na dati nare-realize ko na wala akong kasalanan kasi yung brother ko, for example, he told me or he told you earlier that uh, he was trying to woo me to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And then he would tell me, kasi his approach was all wrong, he would say, you know, Ate Terry, all you do is business. You know, when you die, you will go directly to hell. Alam mo, I hated my brother so much. Sabi ko, sabi ko, you know, if that is the God that you're serving, I'm simply trying to help 3,000 people to get a good livelihood. Tapos, this God is going to take me to hell for that? I said, if that's the kind of God you're serving, I don't want to have anything to do with him. You know, sinabi ko, okay, Chris, for five years, he was trying to woo me. So anyway, this time was so different. Naniwala ko may Diyos. And I saw myself as a sinner. All of a sudden, kaya alam ko may Diyos. Kasi doon sa ginawa niya yun, yun pa lang ang demonstration ng peace and fullness of joy in your heart despite yung mga tribulations na nangyayari sa buhay mo. Sa mga nais pong sumulat, magbigay ng testimony or my prayer request. Isa pong malaking karangalan na kami makapaglingkod sa inyo. Kayo po ay maaaring pumunta sa aming website sa www.terrychang.org. Inuulit ko po, www.terrychang.org. Maraming maraming salamat po. Hi, si Pastora Terry Chang po ito. Nawa po ay nabless kayo sa mensahe ng Panginoon para sa araw na ito dito sa aming programang Living the Blessing ng Terry Chang Ministries. Ang sabi po sa John 8, 32, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Kung gusto mo ng kalayaan, tatanggapin mo si Jesus at ililid kita dito sa prayer na to. Your life will never be the same again. Dadaloy ang kanyang buhay, ang kanyang presensya sa lahat ng areas ng iyong buhay. So, Ipikit mo ang iyong mga mata kung ikaw ito at ililid kita dito sa prayer. And pray it from the heart as if it is your own. Heavenly Father, patawarin niyo po ako sa lahat ng aking mga kasalanan. Marami pong salamat sa pagpapatawad niyo. Jesus, kailangan kita Come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. Holy Spirit, change me, mold me, transform me into that person that you designed and created to be. Amen. Ayan, born again Christian ka Congratulations. Tandaan niyo po, mahal ko kayo at mahal kayo ng Panginoon. God bless you.